I just remembered something Stephanie Bernard said. The secret weapon is a mat. And I forgot to use the mat. I mean, I like the, the lighter, but this seems to cover better. And I thought, oh, you know what? I better, since I'm showing her product, I better tell you her secret weapon and do it the right way. You know, otherwise that's not fair to her because you might want to purchase her product. I love her products. And uh, I have, along with my Close to the Heart, Close to My Heart ink, I have every one of those, but I have to tell you, I also have uh, every one of Stephanie Bernard's inks, and this happens to be one of them that I'm using. Um, and I forgot, you got to put something underneath it, it makes it easier. And I want to tell you, when you do a lot of these big stamps, it's a lot of hard work. So um, I can't show you some of the names because some of the names that people actually know because they watch all the time. Angie, I know, doesn't watch, and that's why I was willing to tell you her name, basically because uh, she can never get at the computer because her children are already always on it. She's got uh, college students and then high school students, and so, of course, the priority in her household is to let the children uh, at the computer rather than her, so she never gets to see my blog. But... Um, Matter of fact, when um, when I want to tell her something, I have to email her because that she gets on her phone. Can you stand it? Anyway, we do take care of our children, don't we? Anyway, I'm going to let you go, uh, but I wanted to show you it does come out much clearer when you're using a padding underneath, just like any time you're stamping. And, oh, I should use this for pressing down. Ooh, that worked really nice, too. Mm -mm -mm. Coming down to the last one of the six, and, of course, now I'm finally getting it down. My hand was actually getting tired from pushing because, and I didn't even think of that. Brayer sits right next to me. I use that when I um, put my paper on the mats. I always uh, use the roller on it because the paper seems to adhere better and stick on there really nice you know for those older mats that you have um, anyway talk to you in a little bit okay I'm back this is dry now and I'm going to do two of these so that you can see and what I'm using is the ter terrifically tacky tape better known for all of us the red tape because it is so sticky I don't want my little pockets to fall apart so that's why I'm doing it this way and I'm putting this on right here on the edge as you can see trimming it problem with the terrific terrifically tacky tape is you have to uh, cut it where with the other um, score tape you can just uh, do it the other way you know you can just put it down so you can just rip it but the score tape does not hold as well as this tape does this is such an easy project I just love it just love it And like that. And then like this. Now I gotta get the I haven't picked up the pictures yet from uh, Walgreens. Oh and for you that don't know, you that don't know, Walgreens has got an app for the iPad. Is it nice? You can just uh, it uploads your pictures so easy. It's just unreal. And of course, am I having a hard time here? You know I am. Here it comes. Here it comes. Darlene would be having a hissy fit if she knew I didn't put lotion on. My hands are so dry. I've been doing housework all morning. So excuse my dry hands. And Darlene, enjoy. She growls at me anytime I don't have dry hands. So that's like that. And then remember, we're going to put cards in there. And I have that same picture. 
By the way, this is, uh, and I had this made for my friend Anita. This is Anita. This is Amy and Taylor. Amy is Amy of May May Made It. And um, I had one made for Anita. Uh, you know, I, I made it for my, um, I printed, of course, for my scrapbook page, but I had an extra one made for Anita. But I just wanted to show you how nice, and that's going to fit into the pocket, you know, all the pictures. I could have actually made this six inches, but I wanted plenty of room because I didn't know whether I'd end up with a five by seven or not. But to be honest with you, I didn't find enough a, um, a pretty enough picture. Isn't that terrible to say? Actually, they were all very nice, but the expense is what it boiled down to. I mean, this is kind of an extra for a, a gift for um, a dinner party. Wouldn't you say this is going a little bit out? Um, so then we will just tie this up. And I didn't know how much to tie, so I mean how much to make, so I've got a little excess. My next one won't have this much. And of course it'll be a little bit fatter, but I wanted you to see what it's going to look like. All finished up. And I don't think I'll put a bow in that. I think I'm going to leave it with just a tie. Tie the knot you know what, I can just slide this over, so that's fine. And we'll pull it this way a little bit so it'll fit some pictures in there nicely there. And then some tool and some tool and that will be sitting on the table. Now isn't that just too cute? I mean, and it'll be filled with pictures of them and all of us ladies at our little last dinner meetup and uh, won't that be just be nice so that's the one and let's do the other one I put Abby's name on there Abby is a friend of ours from church and I've got hers too let's do it this way so it matches up And I'll leave, I, you know what, I went to the grocery store already. You know, I told you I had to go shopping, do my errands. So I ran and did my errands. And then, silly me, forgot to go over to Walgreens, pick up those pictures. So now i got to go back out and do them. But you know what, that can wait for another day because I'm not going out again. As soon as I finish these up, I will, um, can you stand it? I lost my spot. Here it is. I will um, get in the pool. Waiting for a call from my daughter. She's going to join me. Her and my little Sydney are going to stop by. And um, but I went to the grocery store. Just got a couple things. Like I said, we're just having something simple for dinner. Uh, we weren't even going to have. We were going to do this yesterday when my son got in from Germany. Him and his wife. His wife is from Germany. And we were going to do this then. Well, they hadn't had slept in 20 hours. So as it turns out, it's also Justin's birthday. So they bought a cake, and they're bringing a cake. And we're just turning this into a little impromptu party, so to speak. And uh, OK, there's the other one. And I don't have a picture to put in there because that was Anita's extra. And we'll just use the tool again. Let's see if I can't get a little more accurate this time. I'd rather have too much than not enough, though, to be honest with you. I tell you what I did last week. You know, we have a card party coming up. And one of the cards I'm going to make you have to, uh, to fussy cut a little dog. It's from a stamp set, and it's a little dog, and it's cute as cute can be. And I stamped it, and I, you know, I um, colored the collar of the dog, and it's just as cute as can be. But then, guess what? It was time to fussy cut. 
Well, I haven't fussy cut anything in a long time, and I remembered why I stopped fussy cutting. Oh, is that a lot of work. And you know, my thumb was, was uh, numb for three days afterwards. Now, won't these just be too cute sitting on the table? See? Fabulous. Amazing. Sweet and crazy. Thank you. That's today's project. Let me get this out of the way and I'll zoom in so you can see. And it does hold photos and I apologize. Um, I didn't pick up my photos yet, so I'm sorry about that. But you know what the inside looks like. So there you go. That's how that is. And aren't they just too cute? And what a wonderful gift. I mean, how often do we... Um, take a bunch of pictures and then we go to give it to our friends well now thanks to the art book and cartridge you can just I mean you don't have to do anything or design anything it's just on there and look at that remember I gotta make six of those how easy is that I mean you just one two three folds one two three four folds five folds put your name on here it's as simple as can be, or not your name, you know, the person that you're giving it to, or if you want to say something else, or if you want to get artsy and all that kind of good stuff. I had six of them to make in a short time to do it, so I went the simple way and stamped all of them, and I love that close to my heart stamp. Uh, not close to my heart, excuse me. Um, the Stamps of Life stamp. That is so nice, and it turned out just perfect. So thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Bye now. Well, I'm back, and I thought I'd just let you know, I went and I picked up my pictures. I went to the pool, okay, and 15 minutes, that's all I got, and it started thundering and lightning, so I had to come back in. So I ran over to Walgreens and picked up my pictures because they were done, and look at this. Doesn't this just turn out so cute? And look at, I have got all the pictures stuffed inside. See that? And don't you just love it? So I am all set, although I did decide that there's no way I'm putting these on the table. Because number one, with all the pictures in it, and there's 16 pictures in each one of them. Isn't that a nice gift for my dinner guest? At any rate, I'm going to, um, I have a council table, just as you come into the foyer of my house. And um, I'm going to put these on there so that my guests, when they come in, they can just take one and look at it and look through it. And how nice will that be? Anyway, I'd like to be able to tell you exactly what this is and exactly who this is for, but I can't because my, um, my guests do watch my blog and I don't want them to know and this is something surprise and so there's no way that they would know who this is. I mean, Angie uh, is actually one of the ladies at work so I don't have to worry about that. Jennifer is my daughter. She's going to be coming and so at any rate, I've got some really cute things. Gotta run. My phone's ringing. Talk to you later. Bye now.